Welcome back to The Man in the Middle. I'm your host, Bill West. Today we're doing an unboxing video of a brand new uh, Bandai Infinitism kit. It's the fourth in the series. Kotetsu Jig. I have no idea where, <laughs> where this came from. Uh, unlike the other uh, Infinitism kits that I've collected, this one is totally new to me. I've never, I haven't seen, I haven't seen, oh, my cat is in the white cup. <laughs> She's after the condensation on my glass. This is a really cool kit, even though I don't know where it's from. I love the colors. I can't wait to get into it. I don't think you guys really are interested in all the trees. <laughs> but everything is everything's there. Put that down right there. Oh, that's nice. A nice uh, English version of the instructions. You know, recommended tools, finding the parts, cutting out the parts. You know, using poly caps. That's nice. Uh, for those of us who <laughs> are used to building, uh, you know, overseas kits, uh, I probably don't need them. But uh, for newer people who are getting into it, you know, they, they probably might. Okay, here's the. And on the back. That's a really cool kit. I love the colors. I love the way that they build, uh, they, they mold everything in color. So if you just wanted to build it, you can. But, uh, you know, I'm going to take a little bit more care. I have a bunch of different, you know, how to pose it. You know, flying fist, knuckle bomber. You know, how to put the mock drill on. I think that's how I'm going to do it with the drills on the back. That's really, really cool. Although the knuckle bomber's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's the the stand and the fist flying. And I, I went to uh, Wikipedia real quick. And we're going to go there because I've never heard of this kit. So let's take a look at the... Let's make sure we have that window up. <laughs> there we go. And oh no, I'm shaking. Come on. Or maybe I'm not. There we go. Be nice if we planned this out beforehand, right? All right. Let's shrink me a little bit more. There we go. Steel Jig, also known as Kotetsu Jig or Kutetsu Jig, is a Japanese mecha anime, animated <coughs> anime series created by manga artists Go Nagai and Tetsuya Yasuda and produced by Toei Doga, now Toei Animation, directed by Masayuki Akehi. It was first broadcast on net in Japan in October 1975 to August 29th, 1976, lasting for 46 episodes. Steel Jig also ran as a manga in several children's publications with the original manga first serializing Kodansha's TV magazine from August 1975 to June 1976. The series is the first installment in Takara's Magna Robo franchise, which later became its own series after the rights of the show were passed to Dynamic Productions, a sequel series called Kotetsushin Jig aired on the satellite network Wow Wow beginning April 5, 2007. And the story of this anime Hiroshi Shiba is a young car racer who is mortally wounded. His father, Professor Shiba, a talented scientist and archaeologist, manages to restore him to life by means of a powerful relic from the ancient and mysterious 
Jamatai Kingdom of Bronzeville, which is hidden inside Hiroshi's body and turns him unknowingly into a sort of cyborg. As the ruler of Jamatai, Queen Himka, Himika, awakens from her slumber in the underground, it is revealed by the it's revealed that the bell is also the key to the reconquest of the Earth's surface. Her henchmen kill Professor Shiba in the vain pursuit of the artifact, barely leaving the scientist time to upload the thought or his thought on a supercomputer at a specially built defense base. Anticipating the hidden menace, Professor Shiba has also prepared a giant fighting robot, Steel Jig, composed of interchangeable magnetic limbs and for which Hiroshi Shiba can become the head and conscience. His mission is to defend the modern to defend modern Japan from the invaders who also dispose of similar giant monsters and an army of minions in such battles. Jig is aided by a robot horse known as Panzeroid and a fighting jet capable of shooting replacement components and specialized weapons for his body. The series follows Hiroshi's character development in the underground civilization's efforts and subsequent failures to return to power causing an internal civil war. Steel Jig is formed by confining Parts released by the big shooter jet piloted by F Professor Shiba's young assistant, Miwa Uzuki. Hiroshi Shiba becomes the head of Steel G by bumping his fists together. Okay, sounds interesting. Something I, while I was looking up, and I don't think they have it here. Uh, Steel G or Kotetsu G uh, was the basis for Force Commander in the Micronauts. Now that I, I, you know, I can see this now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I love the old uh, Micronauts. And, you know, I have, that's nice to know that, you know, I, I have something that ties into them besides, you know, the overpriced Micronauts toys. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. I am looking forward to uh, putting out the... Oh, it's another kit. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. I'm sorry. What's that box over there? Uh, I'll be doing another unboxing video later today. But right now I have to take off for lunch. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today. If you have, please give me that thumbs up. I'll leave a comment down below. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, share us on social media. You guys take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.